everyone. Happy to have you here for another episode of Legacy Matters. Our show is growing, and the lives and legacies of the people around us have taken on a new importance as we take stock of what is most precious to us. As always, our show will focus on building and preserving your legacy, the importance of community, and the telling of stories we find amusing. Thanks for joining us. Now, enjoy the show. Hello, everyone. Greetings. And how are you? Welcome to the Legacy Matters podcast. Again. We're at it again. Yep. God, I gotta. I still need to get that like podcaster voice down where you do the like. Welcome to episode one seventy three. Yeah. There we go. Been at it long enough that there should be something nah. to it, but, but I, don't, I like it the way it is. That, no. It would. I would probably laugh out loud because yeah. I would think. What's and they would doing? be like, "Oh, I've tuned into the wrong one." Yep. Yeah. But some of the shows, it's I mean, better. they have their like signature. Newscaster boys? No yeah, signature is a signature. Okay. Some of those are dorky. Sounds good. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, how Should are you? We We're in the hi? green room again. No, not yeah. yet. Yeah, we okay. are. We got a guest. We are in the we'll green introduce the guest yep. in a moment. I'm sorry. I forgot yep. to tell you that we Pleasant take a second. Pleasantries are... Yeah. You guys good? It's, yeah. every, uh, okay. it's every listener's favorite part of the show where we banter back and forth for a moment and they're like, can we just tell just me who the guest get is? There already. Like, stop it. Um, yeah. No, I don't think there's anything to report. You missed last week, though. Yeah. I did. We did I, miss I have a voice this week. I know. It's very yeah. good. It yeah. wouldn't have helped not having a voice it was, last week. It was bad. So, so you could say you were here. No one will know. <laughs> <laughs> it's so she nice was to be missed. She, a voice. <laughs> she was there. She no, just couldn't yeah. say I, a word anywhere. I was topping out it like yeah. a whisper. And then it would just give up. Oh, there's people who are deeply into that. I didn't know. You You were the first person that told me. (laughs) That's going around. (laughs) I got a little chuckle. Only Uh, fans. Cheap jokes. Intimately familiar with that. Yes. Favorite (laughs) kind of joke. You could get paid a lot, perhaps, and just sit there and whisper. Yeah. A, maybe she but, does. Yeah. So I will say this. So last yeah. week's episode, so I they've been they've all been great. Uh-huh. Um, and I, I think, you know, we've really it, it, if we were talking about that before the show started. I think we've yeah. really hit our stride as mm-hmm. far as the three of us mm-hmm. doing these shows. It's all been great. Um I last week's episode was Tyler Moon, and I had a little bit of concern because that, that guy comes from a, a religious Very background, religious right? Background. But um, I had a little concern that we might be like stepping off into a direction that mm-hmm. doesn't really fit with with what we do. It did not happen that way. It, he was such a he's really nice frick guy. fracking. Yeah. I didn't yeah. swear because he looked at me a couple of times. He's you, like, I wouldn't use that you, term. <laughs> a couple of times, I'm like, you're going to hell. <laughs> I know, but he was so nice he about was nice it. Nice about it. <laughs> and he was That's such good. a nice guy, and he's got an interesting story. And yeah. I think I will I re- go back and listen. I think he's Since out for no, good won't. in this world. That's you know great. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I think he's yeah. trying to do good. Yeah. I like that. There's a person. couple of them out there. So, yeah. yeah. We've got someone else here. Yeah. <gasps> we do. We have yeah. a, a of... new guest. <laughs> you know, I'm pretty excited about this one because you two cool. yeah. dummies don't do any research because you're not supposed to. We're not we supposed don't. to. No, yeah. Yeah. But I think. Uh oh. I don't know. I'm embarrassed. Yeah, can to I say. get some guesses on? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. think <laughs> you paddled Hudson Bay. Oh, it, yeah. Okay. To be determined. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so, um, I, because I do tell them stuff like, we've got someone's favorite uh, Hmong chef coming on in, in a while. That's yours, yeah. yeah. We, we've mine. got, a, you know, an ex-newscaster that everyone will recognize. Bill Hudson is supposed to come in. But anyway. I don't know who that is. Oh, yeah. What? Everybody <laughs> but Mark will recognize. <laughs> Is he on TV? He used to be. Okay. Um, but anyway, I did. I, so yes, I have. I have said. Oh, and this one I'm kind of excited about because it's been a while. I think she's written a book. Yeah, but. she mentioned that. So anyway, have we introduced you, Natalie? No. No. Natalie no. Warren, right? Correct. Yes, Warren. That's Hello. correct. <laughs> I did it this time. You got it right. You're getting better with names. We're so proud I'm trying. Of you. I'm trying. Your memory is coming so, all around. <laughs> Hi, Natalie. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you for yeah. having me. Yeah, of course. Uh, what what brings you in tonight? Uh, <laughs> a couple nice. LinkedIn messages. Yeah, exactly. That'll do it. Yeah. Six months worth worth of prodding. Exactly into yeah. the green closet. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, cool in here too. It's uh, like the AC's been on for minutes. Yeah, yeah. at least. I think These and more off, lies will yeah. follow. We'll get I'm, I'm getting a little sweaty already. You're in the whatever. corner. Yeah, I'm, I've sunk into this chair. So, Natalie, um, yeah, you uh, you joined us. I, it was that I reached out to you on LinkedIn, wasn't it? Yep. This is one of my go-to tactics. I know. I always wonder how it's you effective. find. 
Yeah, well, I mean, if I remember correctly, the reason I reached out to you is because you did indeed put something out uh, talking about your an experience you had paddling to Hudson Bay via the, Ooh. via the uh, well, it would have been the Minnesota River through Lake Winnipeg up through uh, the Ekamamish into the haze, right? Someone uh, did yep, the research. Yep, yep. Wow. I paddled it. Not <laughs> from here, though. I was going to say. Because yeah. that's craziness. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, the beginning is very challenging. Up, yeah. Upstream. Most people can skip the upstream part. Yeah, why oh not? Yeah. And what did you do at Lake Winnipeg, just out of curiosity? We paddled it. You paddled the whole lake? Yeah. Because people talk about that. They're like, no, you don't paddle Lake Winnipeg. We got a lot of that. And I'm like, well, but I've paddled. I mean, even later on in the trip, you're why going did they through, say that about Lake Winnipeg? It's so frick frack and big. It's the eleventh largest lake in the world, and okay. it's super shallow. And so Ooh. when the wind blows, the you waves don't stand pick a up chance. Super fast. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's dangerous. Oh, wow. Dangerous. Ish. D- dangerous. Danger ish. I said it the right way. I yeah. think. But dangerous ish. Right. Yep. Because there's other really big lakes on that trip, like monumentally big as well not not that big yeah i mean that's the biggest one there are a lot of challenges on that trip that are also dangerous but i think it really comes down to just doing things in a way that's not going to kill you did you skirt the shore yeah yeah Yeah. i mean like we paddled out onto the bay too on one of our trips and everyone's like don't paddle out onto the bay like I'm staying right next to shore and if it's a nice day right it's all weather dependent Yeah. yeah true Yep. You said we, so you didn't go alone. I did not go alone. I'm pretty glad for that, because I was like, oh my God, did she do this by herself? <laughs> Too much. No. Wow. No, I went with my best friend. Yeah. And did we, you remain best friends? Yeah, we're still best friends. Nice. Oh. Yes. Isn't that impressive? Yes. A lot of yeah. 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 either yeah. mortal yeah. enemies or best yeah. friends yeah, at yeah, the yeah, end yeah. of something You've like that. You've got to yeah. remain friends yes. after that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're there, uh, and I'm week. sure we are not going to just sit here and ask questions about this trip the whole time because okay. right. it, it's just but, not, yeah. where there's more to you than yes. the trip. Wait, but what? Right, but it's a good intro. Maybe that's it. No, but... but. Did you did you end up in any I, like these are the questions you've probably already answered? But did you end up in any arguments? Because I've been on a lot of these types of trips, and it's sort of rare, but it happens, you know. Yeah, uh, we were slowly getting more and more upset with each other for about a month before we actually talked so about like it. So, like any other relationship. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, but there was yeah, eased if, into it. Yeah. I'll tell you a quick story of our fight because we did our biggest fight was paddling Lake Winnipeg. At night, completely flat lake, like Milky Way and stars reflecting on the water. Beautiful. Looks like you're paddling oh, that's space. Wow. Right there. Yeah. And uh, our whole issue can be summed up in that I was a little bit too careless about our decisions, and Anne was the more anxious one about our decisions. And so I was in the stern directing the way the boat goes, yeah. and I was pointed too far away from shore. And she asked me to move closer, and I didn't to her liking, <sighs> and we just started yelling at each other. Oh. Uh, like stuff from back in call, just oh, nice. like everything that we had never talked about about basically and while we were fighting the northern lights came out and then and they we, were like shut up yeah, yeah they, they were like <laughs> uh, you are insignificant yeah um yeah so we just reached a point where we weren't talking but we were just so angry at each other paddling through what is still the most beautiful scenery <laughs> i can imagine angry yeah yeah nice that's funny nothing like hate paddling yeah <laughs> that'll get you there right. faster yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> stupid well, beautiful sky yeah, yeah. <laughs> i would say like the probably the more dangerous moment there is fighting while you're paddling because you sort of lose like you're not as careful yeah well, you, you know get, like it's a distraction what are you gonna do, turn around and yell at me or splash me with something or like <laughs> and you, then it you would go be over a, a waterfall right yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. yeah. <laughs> yeah. hopefully not, on not that on one. Like, <laughs> that'd yeah. be weird uh, <laughs> and live like they do in yeah. the cartoons uh, right <laughs> well you know so often when you're canoeing too the wind is strong enough and you're a significant feat a part where yeah. Yeah. all day long you just can't even hear the other person when they're talking. What kind of boat did you take? Just out of curiosity. Oh, uh, we took a Kevlar boat. It's you little, did. Yep. And no shit. I mean, we on were on a far northern trip like so, that. That's a little. Let me dicey. justify this because I agree with you. But <laughs> this was another discussion. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it. that's a little. Yeah. That, this trip is four trips in one, right? Like upstream on the Minnesota River, totally. downstream on the Red River, Kevlar yeah. boat. Awesome. Yep. Perfect for that. Perfect for that. Le- leg of the journey. 
okay on Lake Winnipeg only because it was fully loaded. Yep, because they're light. It can be a kite. Yep. yep. Uh, not recommended for whitewater paddling. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But we got it for free, therefore it was the correct boat for yes. Yeah. <laughs> we got Price it was for right. free. Yeah. No, I mean the big concern would be wrapping that boat around a rock. Totally. And you know, I've popped canoes off of wrapped in big rivers and saved them, but those are the big plastic boats. I yep. mean like your old town tripper and stuff like that. Yeah, it good. will crack easily. Yeah, no, you can't do that with the Kevlar's. So, but you didn't. You didn't manage to lose your boat. You lived. Yep, we lived. Obviously, you made it all the way up. Did you stay at York Factory for we any period of time? We stayed at York Factory. We actually, so we picked up a dog at Norway House. Okay. Um, because they have a bunch of stray dogs there, and they don't have a humane society. And the family we were staying with is like, you should take a dog with you. And you know, I'm like 22, and Anne's 21, and we have like five dollars. But yeah. we decided to take one of the dogs and. What in the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you oh, took a dog, dog from Norway? Dog yeah, trip? we did. It's well, so we were staying with a, a Cree family, the Mushwagans, and one day we were hanging out with them, and they were like, "You know what? You guys should take a dog because you're going into polar bear country, and if a polar bear comes, it'll eat your dog, and you'll have time to load your gun." Oh my. Yeah, no, I, I doubt not where it. that yeah. I thought yeah. that was going, yeah. 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 but oh, they're I still right. It might be, but, yeah. Yeah. but um, I, I mean, there I may think be right. It's always a good idea, right? And it wasn't live bait. So you a didn't lot name of people it? have actually gotten upset that we yeah. took a dog for right. polar bear bait. Not the case. No, <laughs> I mean, I think a dog would give you would give you a little bit of warning ahead of time right. yeah. on many things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. another layer of protection. Stop fighting. Yeah. And, <laughs> and like me, I'm cute. Yes. Yes. Like it is yeah. just nice to pet something. Yeah. But you don't pick one up in Norway. House. Why not? You just, or, or everywhere. Or it was at Norway House. Okay. Yep. That's still that's a long ways. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, in retrospect, we're really lucky because the dog we picked, my hun, she slept all day in the boat and would just like run around and hunt all night. But I have a dog now who, if I put her in a canoe, I will flip within the hour because yeah, she's just, insane. Well, so just can't do in it. retrospect, it was kind of had, meant to be. Yeah, yeah, it worked out. Yeah. How old were you? I was twenty-two. Yeah, that seems like the sort of thing you might decide See, to yeah, do. Yeah, twenty-two. Right. You're yeah. like, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. You guys tell me I should have a dog. <laughs> I should have a dog. <laughs> yeah. We're doing it. Uh, I actually <laughs> picked up a dog when I paddled. The length of the Mississippi River too, and so I was building this reputation of picking up dogs oh. on canoe trips. Mm. How how far and wide does a reputation like that t- carry? I think I might. Like, are there people out there that are like, <laughs> like I know that lady. She picks up dogs, she picks on, up canoe dogs trips. on canoe trips. Right. Hide the dog. I feel Here like I need comes. to do it one more time to like. Yeah. You could be the like name. the national champion. I it wouldn't take more than three. I, I don't think. think. That would do it. Yeah. We'll check with so, Guinness. That could yeah, be it. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a lot of dogs already at two. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. 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 Oh, my God. So you picked up a dog. There's two of you. Young young women. Yep. Um, perfectly strong enough to do this. But did you realize what you were getting into when you did this? No, but for the better, I think. Because with shit like this, you can... Sorry. Oh, it's totally yeah. true. Curse? Yeah, yeah, totally. Oh, yeah. oh fuck yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can I curse? I don't know. If you think That's about so it, cute. you wouldn't yeah. do yeah. it. No. Right. You know, there's no. like a hundred million reasons yeah, if you not plan for this. everything you needed to be ready for, you'd be like, yeah, no, we're not going. I, right. Yeah. We're done. I right. took my brother-in-law and, and a couple of... And my brother and another friend out on a trip in the Wabakimi. Cool. So pretty, you know, nine, uh, seven days, eight days, whatever it was. But, you know, for them, they were like... Wait a minute, we just passed civilization, like, yep, and, and then you go further. Then keep going. For another 10 hours yeah, or whatever. Yeah. And then, but um, my brother in law, like the first night after a pretty grueling, what started out sunny, beautiful day, everything was great. River that existed for a little while stopped existing, and we had to just, <laughs> I'm like, well, about a mile that way is where we need to be, so just follow me, boys. It was pretty harsh. But That um, sounds harsh. And like, oops. Eh, it was uh, fine. Nature it was pulled fine. a fast one. Yeah. We're gonna have to hike it, boys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. But uh, but I remember him sitting down with me saying, "Man, if you'd have told me, if you'd have told me what today was gonna be like, I never would have done this. So I'm really glad you just didn't. Yeah, talk don't about tell it. Yeah. Like, yeah. You just, just do and it. And you don't have to repeat any days, which yeah. is nice. No, yeah. right every day's different. Yeah. Scarier, uh, less scary. Mm-hmm. Pretty. That's, That's a good out. attitude. Yeah. yeah. Every day is different. That's a really good attitude mm. to keep on something like that. I Jesus. Imagine. So you jumped in a. In a Kevlar boat, with what kind of gun did you bring? 
Oh, you know, I know nothing about guns, and I haven't held a gun since this trip. Uh, yeah. I think it was like a twenty-two gauge shotgun. No, but that's that's cute. It's yeah. not. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It was a gun. Just a twenty-two. It was a gun. It was like a big gun One that to shot. shoot bears with. It, it could probably. It, it probably was a twenty gauge shotgun, okay. which is the same thing. Uh, John Lurie, who also paddled this trip, who I interviewed, he uh-huh. took a twenty gauge. There, there, you're not stopping. Polar bears. Well, okay, we so we, very well. we not brought, easily. No, 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 totally. We brought buckshots with us, yeah. right? Which we found out on the way back that they're illegal in Canada, so we shouldn't have even like crossed the border with them. Uh, yeah, yeah, but the Canadians, if if I, I mean to their credit, if they see two kids, kids ish, you know, yeah, fair, in their yeah. opinion, yeah, uh, in a canoe headed to, to in polar bear country, they're not like. I don't think we should let them have buckshot. Yeah, we should probably take <laughs> yeah. that from them. No, that, that, that seems dangerous. This is yeah. not their concern. No, it's like a teaching moment of like, yeah, next time you're going to want to do this instead. Yeah. But, yeah. yep, good luck to you. Carry I, on. I think the anti-buckshot <laughs> thing is like to keep uh, residents from having it, to keep, to keep from shooting your neighbor. Yeah. If you're headed up to, <laughs> to Hudson Bay and, and you've got a 20 gauge with buckshot, they're like, whatever. God, it's I hope fine. they live. I yeah. hope <laughs> like hell they live. Like, wow. Mark that's calendar. Let's see what happens. <laughs> right. Well, and they do. Did you check in with the RCMP and all that? When yep. you, yeah, 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 yeah. Because there was a trip that same summer where people just paddled right past them and they got arrested when they landed on their float plane. Uh, oh. So, you, yeah, check in on the border. It's, yeah. Yeah, John well, Murray tells a story about. About missing his border crossing too, uh, hey, yeah. Yep. But anyway, <laughs> so you did all that. You you dotted your eyes and crossed your t's as you did the border. Uh, yep, we did that. Yep, we got to see a polar bear in the wild, which was you pretty did? sweet. Nice. Where did we you see it at York Factory? So, like, okay. best case scenario, Perfect. we're yeah. not going to get eaten. Right. We could literally most go likely. in. I mean, yeah, yeah. we went inside a building. <laughs> And watched it through a window while this sounds like the right guy to with a gun right was there. Right that to sounds us. wonderful. Yeah. yeah. When were you up there? Oh, uh, end of August. What What year though? 2011. 2011. It's been a long time. I bet it was not the same burly guy. Was it like an old couple living in the? There was a, a young couple and okay. a dude named Liam with a uh, German Shepherd. No, I don't think Liam was there. Okay. It was an old. Uh, a native Canadian, you know, indigenous yeah. Canadian couple that were living up there when when we were up there. Pretty interesting when place. Were you up Sam, there? what? Yeah, good. Yep. What year? Uh, let's see. The haze. That was two thousand five. Okay, so hmm. not. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that was a great trip, though. Really. Did the haze is beautiful. Yeah. Well, I'm headed back up in two years. If you're looking for, <laughs> I'm headed up, I'm headed up to the dog? Wolverine yeah. into the seal. Oh, yeah. cool! So a little further north yet. Yeah, really, I'm, really, uh, really pretty. Uh, I'm looking forward to. It. I have two young children at home, and so oh, yeah, everyone's like, "Hey, let's do this!" And I'm like, "No, no, <laughs> I can't. I care about <laughs> you. coming back now." <laughs> um, I guess that brings up a question for me. Would you if? If that weren't the case, maybe like, did you actually end up enjoying this to the point where you sort of craved doing it again, or were you like, no, fuck that, I'm done with this? I've done forever. it, yeah, yeah, and I think I will adventure again, and I'm inter- interested too in like doing Arctic trips with my kids when they're older. Okay. But yeah, there you go. It's a phase of life. I did a lot of pa- I paddled over seven thousand miles in my twenties. And so I'm not mm. mad that I like can't paddle right yeah, now. Yeah, you're like, I'm you know? good. Sure. No, no, that's a lot. Uh, that's great. Yeah, yeah. but. It's Were you like a Widgie alum or something? Minogen. Oh, Minogen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, so you went through a camp system, learned how to yeah, do all this Yeah, we actually stuff. knew what we were doing, which yeah. is yeah. really yeah. helpful. I, yeah. On something I like that. I should have guessed that. Well, I did kind of, but I should have known that you would have been through one of those camps. Yep. 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 Teach you everything you need to go anywhere and do anything, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> with yeah. skepticism. Yeah, I don't want wow. to point out the obvious. I guess you went to a different camp, clearly, Sam. Clearly, they do. <laughs> no, I did all of mine through camp too. I would say they give you, they give you enough knowledge to go out and do it. Yeah. Whether whether you can successfully or not is a whole different thing. <laughs> you know, like yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, it's. It's good, though. I mean, they, they gave you enough knowledge, obviously. You went and did it, and you paddled. Yeah, it's more just miles. empowering to know basics of packing out what you need, and then 
from there you're like oh land is connected and water is connected so like where should we go Right. So was your friend Anne, did she also learn in camp as well? Yeah. So I'm from Miami, Florida, and I like did no outdoor things until I was 15 Okay. when I went to camp. And Anne is from here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she grew up playing in the woods and was the sort of outdoorsy alter ego of okay. mine, you know. Right. Um, nice. So you met and became friends at camp? Is yep. Oh, yep. God, we met up paddling the, the Kazan Kunwak rivers out to Bigger Lake. Oh so my That was a 50-day trip through the Arctic. Whoa. It was awesome. Yeah, that's the thing that Minogen, uh, well, and Widgie, I believe, and, mm-hmm. and Kuchiching, that they do <clears throat> those far... Arc, the northern Those Arctic are camps just. for people who aren't oh, speaking sorry. your canoe language? Accurate. You're right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I worked at a camp. Point, you mean like, us and anyone else listening our, besides the two yeah, of you? Like, uh, Jesus. Yep. It's our own private club. Because they can't even look it up because you're not spelling well, that crap. Well, right. But, oh, <laughs> let me sound that out. No, that's right. true. Let yeah. me backtrack just slightly. Yeah, I, a titch? I, I, do, I produce software for camps now, too, to, oh. to help preserve these types of memories. So yeah. I'm a huge yeah. camp person. Cool. 20, right. 20 years a camp counselor. Yep. Mm-hmm. Loved it. Uh, guided trips all over the place. Paddled cool. roughly the, uh, an equivalent number to what you that's right yeah. around where I'm at, I think. But, um, yes, Camp Kuchiching, which is boy, I think they have a Canadian address or like they're they're like right up on the border, if not just slightly over the border on an island. Is that on Rainy, maybe, or or Lake of the Woods? I'm not sure, but anyway. Mm-hmm. Great camp, long history. They send kids out on these 30, 40, 50 day trips up Jeez. in wow. the Arctic, too. They send very young kids mm-hmm. up on those trips. Their whole program is that. Camp, uh, we'll go to uh, Widgee. Widgee was formerly a girls' camp only, I believe. You, you're not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yep. Maybe back so in your day, Sam. So that's Camp Widgee <laughs> Wagon. I believe the, the Y system, it's part of the Y system yeah, now. Okay. Um, same with Minogen. Mm-hmm. Camp Minogen is another formerly private camp that became part of the Y system. They've retained their tripping programs, and they send kids a little bit older generally, more like along the lines of what my camp did, which was Camp Chippewa, mm-hmm. um, out on... We didn't go on anything past 24, 25 days. We kept it to a session. Yeah. But you guys would do these uh, full summer, basically, trips yep. out on these long, long That's courses. incredible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is pretty freaking incredible. It I is. Gotta say. I always wonder about their liability insurance. So yeah. It's like, Assuming right. they have it? Or right. Or just like, like <laughs> you're sending you know, 17 if year you olds. Lose a kid, to who's going to know? The middle of nowhere. Yeah. Good luck, kids. Massive I hope rivers. I see it. Hey, one didn't come back. Prove it. <laughs> right. I knew the jokes yeah. were coming. Yeah. You know, <laughs> as, as far as I know, like in the 30 years or so that I've been kind of deeply into the it's been about 30 years um, into the camp world I, none of them have ever lost a kid mm-hmm. um, there's there's been very few you know like major injuries requiring uh, evacuation or right. something so like as dangerous as it sounds and it, and it is and it, whatever it, like they're doing something right yeah and, well they're doing yeah. a lot of things right I think yeah obviously, obviously. yeah yeah, yeah. And I think it's also speak. It, I don't know. It speaks to these things aren't as crazy as they actually sound. Right. When you get out there, I mean, you have to be prepared, and it's helpful to know like white water paddling. Don't and tell people that. They'll I'm be not out saying there like everyone crazy. should just I go, just do but it. you know, <laughs> let's it's, go tomorrow. It's, it's impressive Summer. what won't kill you. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, you're right. You're right. I mean, the reason you know people concern themselves with being eaten by a polar bear that is one of the most dangerous parts of it and that's even infrequent yeah. like very few people are getting eaten by polar bears on a regular basis right right people do see them on those trips you know polar bears will hunt humans as mm-hmm. prey uh but it's not like everybody who goes up into the arctic where the polar bears are gets they, yeah. they don't all get hunted by bears like so right. it's still yeah. very rare right um you do have to take that part seriously uh dying in a storm uh, dying in a rapids, those things are serious. But I always maintain that it was probably the van ride up and back that there were the most dangerous parts of the entire trip. Yep. Not yeah. the most grueling part of the trip, not the most hmm. emotionally uh, 
strength building part of the trip, but the most dangerous parts. Yeah, that's when we were paddling the Mississippi, we met up with this guy in St. Louis who lives on the river and he was full of these like, you know, it'd be raining and he'd be like, it's a good day to be a duck. And he had all these little one phrases. And his <laughs> big thing was that driving is the most dangerous thing we do like yeah. right. compared to paddling a river. Right. Yeah, yeah, we do it multiple times a day right. without thinking about it. But then right. you tell someone you paddled to Hudson Bay and they're like, how are you alive? Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. have died. Right. Yeah. yeah. What's wrong with you? Mm. Uh <laughs> Well, we can. I mean, we can talk about other stuff. But have you uh, have you had the opportunity to meet Will Steger yet? Then I've co- I've crossed paths with Will, but I haven't. Like... It seems like you'd been in the same kind of circle. I'll say this yeah. on Will's behalf, uh-huh. which is a little bit bold of me, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> he's not here to stop. He's you. not go here ahead. to stop me. Yeah. Plus, he's so old. I could take him. No, there's no way I could take him. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Like a bear. Get my ass. Yeah, you better okay. really quickly take that back. Good move. Yeah. I got it. Is that a muck like? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Will. It was a joke. <laughs> Don't hurt me. Uh, no, when I when I had the opportunity to to interview him on the show, and I talked about where I've been on these trips and stuff. He said, like, I think we had shut the stuff off, but he was like, you realize like you're, you're a wilderness explorer. Like you've been up there. And I'm like, wow, really? And I can say that honestly, you having done those things, there are, there are fewer people doing what you did than are climbing Mount Everest next year. Mm -hmm. You know, like, right. I totally agree. Yeah. Yeah. Because those have become so commercialized. This is like, Almost no one goes up and paddles these rivers. You know this. Mm-hmm. So yeah, really it's, a, impressive. it's a small group of people. And it's, yeah, it's so interesting. You know, Minnesota especially has this culture around expeditioners, right? It's like mm-hmm. we have the Will Steegers and the Anne Bancrofts yep. and like we breed expeditioners. But, you know, my, my life journey has been kind of both and, you know, I've been able to do all these things. And then now I'm like home raising a family, right. you know, yeah. and, right. and so it's. It's an interesting identity to play around with. Like you were saying, you didn't even think of thinking of yourself as a wilderness oh, expeditioner, God, no. you know? But Will no. is right. But, yeah. I, there's no way that I, I can hear the, you two tell these stories and say that you're not wilderness explorers. Mm-hmm. I mean, 100%. Well, you're from Florida, so you don't get <laughs> well, to that's, you don't get <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so ashamed. <laughs> no, but saying that, you know, obviously coming up here and doing that, something appealed to you about Minnesota and being in this area coming from, well, I mean, well, Who I'm sorry, but it's Florida. beautiful. I mean, yeah, right so I, a that. lot of people want to leave Florida yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's no I longer it. cool that I I'm from it. Miami. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I would say uh, what was so. I I don't know. I, it's just the way I felt about it. Like, I knew other people did it. I knew other people were doing it. I met the people from the other camps that were doing the same things. To me, it was like. Oh, yeah, we just all fucking go up there, right? Yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> but then you talk to anyone else in their world, they're like, you go where? What? <laughs> you know, and that's, I think, what Will was cluing in on was, like, if you've been up there, you're doing something that other people don't do. Yep. Yeah. 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 And you make a good point, too. It's like when your social circle is doing it. For the longest time, I was like, who cares that we paddled the Hudson? Like, you know, I have friends who are doing way cooler things all the oh, time. Oh, yeah, way up there. But. Yep. Yeah, we start to realize that that's not normal. The majority (laughs) of people maybe have not been in a canoe. Right. Or, you know, the other percentage would be people like, well, yeah, my grandma has a kayak at the cabin. Like, okay, that doesn't count at all. (laughs) I have a ranking system. (laughs) Yeah. Because I've got, uh, because I'm taking this trip next year for 10 days. And then the year after we're going for, you know, the full 25 days up to the Wolverine into the seal. Anyway, and I've got this ranking system and it like... Like, it starts at one, and that's the four seasons, right? And then it goes up, and, like, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but if you're at, like, a six or so, somewhere in that range, you're like, I could do it. I've paddled. I have went to uh, the Boundary Waters. And you're like, oh, that's cute and all. Yeah, that is cute. <laughs> yeah. Good for Super you. Super cute. But Pat you, on top of the head. <laughs> you did a little loop around a little lake, didn't you? And you were only ever a mile or two from your car, which is still really cool. Yeah. Yep. But you can't go from, uh, like, the the bay trips are a nine, right? I think the super uh, high Arctic ones are where you get into the ten. Mm-hmm. But you can't even go from a six to a nine without experiencing a lot of discomfort. You yeah. can go from a, I've paddled ten days in the Wabakimi or something like that to a bay trip. That's the right progression. That's going from an eight to a nine or whatever. But mm-hmm. like, I did the... I did the Boundary Waters. 
Like, yeah. okay, you're going to have to go on something else before right. you go on a bay trip. I, I yeah. mean, definitely a whitewater river. Something. That's, yeah. 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 It helps to have that experience. Yeah. But then I meet people who are like, I did the haze. We ran everything. And I was like, what? How? Like, you went over class five waterfalls? White mud falls? Sure yeah. you did. <laughs> right? I'm like, and here you are talking to me. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's it's fascinating. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it is. I mean, for, for us anyway. I'm, I'm, how are you guys I'm, I'm great like I love listening to this because I just uh, yeah I'm one of those like yeah I've been to the boundary waters mm-hmm. yeah which is a Did, badge you know that's and, like, cool but not doing that no, no yeah. I'm sir. not doing that. No, and I hope no. that doesn't sound like a bunch of snobbery. I, I, I believe feel like going it's to the facts. I feel like yeah. going to the Boundary Waters is fucking great. Yeah, sure. I will. Yeah. I will bring people out there. We'll have yeah. a great time. I try and avoid. I go in the spring or the fall when there's hardly anyone out there. Yeah, but um, it's wonderful. Go do that. You should absolutely get into it. But that does not translate directly into these far the it, it, you get further into canada and the bugs get worse the bugs, the, the, yeah the, the rivers get worse your body like the, the longer you're out there the, the cold, emotional toll yeah. it takes on you the cold yeah it's, it's you start a lot. fighting you start, you start fighting with your <laughs> friend at night yeah. Yeah. under the northern lights we're the northern lights weirdos thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. i hate you i hate you Shh. oh Okay, so here. <laughs> uh, do you see how silly it is now? It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Usually I hope you're is. over it, both of you. I'll never right. fight again. Right. <laughs> All right, you guys. We we uh, killed yeah. a half hour. Let's do yeah, this. Let's, let's uh, take, take a, a break. break. All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right we'll back. Go. Okay, we have to come with our sponsor. <laughs> Nova Craft <Canoes>. News. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Save the world. It could be up to you. Wait a second, wait a minute, and we're through. Kinetic Legacy is the company that powers the Joe Contractor app. Their unique platform blends the good parts of social tech with their one-of-a-kind data organizing system, giving communities, large and small, a safe, private space to stay connected and to keep information and memories organized. If you and your community have a shared purpose or passion and are looking for a better way to stay connected, contact Kinetic Legacy today at kineticlegacy.us. Find out how groups from contractors to campers, tribal communities, unions, and alumni organizations are finding their way to meaningful new spaces in this increasingly digital world. Again, that's kineticlegacy.us. Wonder Woman Construction is a Minneapolis-based, woman-owned, residential and commercial construction and electrical company. Lori and her team pride themselves on their commitment to long-term, green, and sustainable building practices. And they apply their deep understanding of building science to each project they take on. They are dedicated to the complete satisfaction of every client. One more thing that you absolutely cannot miss about Wonder Woman Construction is the fact that every employee loves what they do and truly enjoys working with each other. The best projects are those that are done by happy people. And Wonder Woman Construction is full of happy people. Visit WonderWomanConstruction.com to get started on your happiest project ever. Save the world, it could be up to you. Wait a second, wait a minute, and we're through. Thank God there's laughter. Okay. Yeah. I was like, I was like, oh no, we might have to wait for oh a minute. Yeah, like, should, should we eavesdrop on I think if okay. we, I think if we're really quiet, I think we can maybe hear them. Yeah. I think you should do a podcast with... We're doing What's a podcast happening? right I now. I know, but like, no, <laughs> but with the D and D kids no, next we, we door. Uh, so they're not um, kids; they're okay. adults. It's okay. We did. We are back, and yeah. we did forget okay, cool. to uh, no. thank our our. Not they don't sponsor us, but they sponsor us by giving us. Well, space. they do. They space. shelter the Comedy us. Corner That's, Underground in the corner bar. Yes, they in allow us in the basement. Sunny Minneapolis. Seven, sunny today. Seven corners. Seven Minneapolis. corners. Yeah. Minneapolis. Yeah. yeah. Um, Minnesota, it, for those who don't know, <laughs> United in case States. You didn't know where Minneapolis States on Earth resides. <laughs> Earth. Um, yeah, who knows? I don't know who's yeah, you know, this, subscribe. It could be anyone. We don't beam it out yet. Yeah, but well, you put it into the RSS feed. There could be aliens listening. I don't know. 
That's it's hard to get. They stats listen to this. Back. They're still not coming. Yeah. They're like, nope. Not yet. <laughs> they're like, well, or we need to worry about the ones we that are. Be. Well, yeah. Gork no. Nick, I don't actually think paddling sounds very fun. If I'm being honest, <laughs> <laughs> the way they're describing it, not. Nah. Did you say Gorkman? Gork Nick. Gork Nick. <laughs> That's his go-to <laughs> alien name. I yeah. made it up. <laughs> You've said that before. No, that was, was priceless. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so you're from Miami, ended up <laughs> in Minnesota. No, Natalie, I'm going. Natalie Warren. I'm Natalie going. Warren here. Yeah, we have to reintroduce. But yes, yes, yes. Now go. How? That was it, Natalie Warren. Yes. No, I was wondering the same thing. Yeah, so you're in Miami, which goes, you know, I think I'm going to go to Minnesota. Well, you went oh, to camp. You said it with yeah. an accent. You said Minnesota. No, I even Minnesota. said it with yeah. Minnesota. Um, I so I went to an art school for saxophone performance in downtown as, Miami. Yeah. As one Alto, does. As four one does. years. Woo! Yes. Oh, nice. I'm you know one of the few from my high school that have not made it big playing with you know pit well, bull. You, you and <laughs> you're right, right. You didn't bring it on the boat. I, I went so. into environmental <laughs> stuff. Okay. And, um, yeah. No, it was it was great, but I got super burnt out when I was fifteen because you know four or five hours a day I was playing saxophone, yeah. and I had a friend whose mom had grown up in Minnesota, <laughs> and she sent her kids up there every summer, and he would always come back from summer break looking just like tan and oh, tattooed, yeah, totally. glowing. Not that like yeah. I wasn't tan, right? Right. But it's a difference. not that kind of tan. No. Not that. Yeah. But yeah. Then, the northern glow yeah. that he carried it, with him, the glow of happiness. It was a vibe. And fresh air. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I was like, what are you doing? Because I'm not happy right now. I yeah. love that you <laughs> traded five hours of saxophone for eight hours of paddling. Yeah, I yeah. like to do like one it. thing right. yeah. very Roll well. Up. Right. <laughs> Go. Over. Yes. And over and over. Nice. Um Oh shit. I don't wanna t- I don't wanna go back to paddling, but I do have one quick okay. question. <laughs> Oh my um, God, move on! I know. <laughs> so, so on all of those long trips, like uh, if, if you're if you're guiding the trip and you're a counselor, I don't know if you ever had the chance to be a counselor at camp and stuff. Yeah. So you typically put the like the can the kid who needs the most help in your canoe, uh-huh. right? Usually that means the the least strong paddler, okay, or the one who's maybe the least strong swimmer, mm-hmm. or the least strong socially or something. You put okay. you put the kid in your canoe that. I, I've had okay. some really safety first. Right. I've had some really great kids in my canoe, so I don't want to say you put like the worst kid in your canoe because yeah, that's not the start case. Questioning why am I always with the guy? Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's not that. It's not. It's not like you put the one that you don't like there. It's like you put one that you like, but who needs maybe some help in a certain mm-hmm. way or something. But I had uh, several of them over the years that like you're paddling for eight or ten hours a day that like refuse to paddle on one side or the other so i come back with like one arm <laughs> like, oh. like oh god i'm super strong on this side yeah, totally yep. yeah, have you had the that happen the whole right side of my body still is so much stronger than my left side yeah yeah, yeah. That funny? because of that yeah. is it because you prefer paddling on one side rather than the other you know it's hard to see where i went wrong when i look back um yeah but i definitely have a preferred side and so did ann on that expedition yeah and so we spent most of you know probably four hours a day working the same muscles right. yeah it's a yeah. real thing it's a yeah real thing. i was always like hey kid can we switch yeah. <laughs> try the other side like, you're not happens. actually adding much effort anyway yeah. <laughs> and i'm battling and i've been on the same one side the whole time doing a j stroke anyway so uh yeah so miami to here yeah and you just got to admit Minnesota's better, right? It's yeah. better in so many ways. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I didn't really fit in in Miami, and I, I don't so think that's a bad thing. It's not. No. It's not a terrible thing. No. Uh, but yeah, I went to camp, and then I I applied to colleges up here, so I went to Saint Olaf, and I did not see snow until I was seventeen. Wow. I wish I, I could suppose say that. you were here. Up I wish I could summer. say that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no. yeah, when you're up here in the summer, yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't know this was going to happen. Yeah. It was. I didn't know how to dress. I bought my first winter jacket, but it was just a shell that you're supposed uh, to zip a fleece right. into. Yeah. Right. But nobody told me that. That's I was funny. like, here's my winter jacket. <laughs> yeah. And it was cold. It's a windbreaker oh, yeah. at yeah. that point. Yeah. So I would like run from class to class because yeah, I didn't like, know how people were walking. This thing just isn't very warm. And they're like, why is she? She's got the right jacket on. <laughs> right. Is it? Do you find that's enough of a jacket now? Now that you've been through this oh, for God, a number no, of years? Oh, God, no, I've learned how to dress. I okay. had to, you know, hats and scarves were really confusing. Oh, they're terrible. <laughs> Just, yeah. I, you know, that's why I have my normal them. sweatshirt and my winter sweatshirt. I mean, that's, I mean, that's the thing. I wear, like, yeah. the colder it gets, the lighter the jacket gets for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Yeah. Like, what I don't like is, is when it's 
it was previously warm and then it's not like the fall and spring are harder for me to adjust to than the deep winter when you're mm -hmm. just like, yeah, it's fucking cold. It's out. cold. Yeah. That's it. I'll be fine. No, you haven't. You haven't made that. I mean, how long have you been here? I've been here since 2007. Well, I spent a year out in D.C., but um, 15, 16 yeah. years, something like that. It's long enough to yeah. where now I, I know what I'm doing and I actually enjoy yeah. winter. Yeah. But yeah. it was a shock to my system for sure. For a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what yeah, Miami will do to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's shaking her head. No, it's not. No, it's not. Okay. I tried. I tried. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's home. I'll, I'll be here for a long time. I mean, it's like paddling rivers is what do you I still do in paddle? my free time. Do you still yeah. enjoy it? Yeah. I like paddling the Mississippi. Yeah. Just like north of downtown. You know, there are three main segments through the Twin Cities. Just hop out there. And you can do it. I like a sunset ever paddle. paddle. Well, okay. See, I for the longest time would only do big trips. Yeah, and that's I would what I like. Never paddle in between. Yeah. But then I reached a point in my life where I'm like, well, I'm not going to be doing a big trip for however many right. years. And then at what point am I still a paddler if it's right. not a part of my like, identity? I don't do it, life. but I'm still doing it in my head. Yeah. yeah. Right. Sure. So I started. But I mean, like, if you tried more, if you tried heroin. You're you're like a heroin <laughs> addict for the rest of your life, right? Like you never get to say I'm not a heroin addict because so, you tried. <laughs> well, but, well, if you were an addict, sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. No, sorry. Say yeah. Apples, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. no, no, no. Those, right, we need right. to talk about but, a few things. Th those who dabble, I get right. it, I get it. But, <laughs> no, but I mean, if you've got a heroin addiction, let's let's uh, let's say you paddle seven thousand miles. I would say you're addicted to paddling. Yeah, uh, like that's, I, I've that's I'll always addicted. have that. Mm. Yeah, but you get to say you're a paddler. Totally, but I I want to reap the benefits of being a paddler, and for me that means actually spending time on the water yeah. instead of just remembering it. all the Jeez, trips that you, I did. You yeah. really wear that as like a yeah. part of your identity. Well, yeah, I think which is good. It's good. Mm -hmm. I mean that in a positive way. It's yeah. more it came like across an, as a positive. No, I think yeah. probably. I, I, yeah. I read that as a compliment. Yeah. I, it was yeah. supposed yeah. to be. Yeah. 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 He I'm always not says offended that. at all. I know. It's what uh, I do. No, it was like an ideological launching pad for me that. It was, you know, sparked relationships with places that I still engage with. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I totally understand that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. So kind of like the corner bar. I mean, it, I've it had a relationship sparked with the relationships. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super proud to have yours on. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the corner bar. The comedy um, corner on the ground. Yeah, very well, proud this of is it. good. Yeah. This is good. Yeah. Uh, so what else do you do? I mean, you're not just a paddler. You're a mother as well, I'm right? I'm a mother. I have a three-year-old and a two-month-old at wow. home. Wow. Um, so, yeah. you know. Full. Right. So you have your hands full. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I made you made it, it out of the house. You're here and awake. <laughs> yes. That is a step. I yeah. think that's actually a real compliment <laughs> to us. That really is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And this is the most break I've gotten yet. So yeah, I bet. I'm having a great wow. time. You're welcome. Oh, you don't want to leave? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I have to leave. Yeah. <laughs> My husband you know, would like me to they're leave. They're very resilient. <laughs> that they age. work it out. <laughs> They'll be fine. Um, yeah, I mean, I still play saxophone, so I, I married uh, someone I played in a funk band with for a long time. Oh. I married the drummer, and he still, he has a music studio and does production and mixing and recording stuff, and so nice. we have a uh, uh, chill electronica duo. So uh -huh. I sing and play saxophone, and he does all the production. How, how do you sing? Chill and play electronica at the same time? duo. It's a genre. It's a genre. It's I like that's genre. that's a genre in Tell and of me itself. Me Not the more. duo. Part. Yeah, the duo. Oh, that sounds oh, awesome. I mean, <laughs> but, but chill uh, electronica. Yeah. I might like that. You never yeah. know until you yeah. try it. Yeah. 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 Well, I didn't know I was like into electronica. Electronica and yeah. stuff until I was into it. like and then there are like, like well, fifty hey. subgenres of electronica. Yeah, sure. it, you know, it sure. just keeps going. Yeah. Uh, so you know, I do that, but right now I'm just like learning Thomas the Train songs on my saxophone. Yeah, <laughs> you have to. It's changed. Oh, a little you have bit. to. It, that's survival. That's yeah. why you're doing it. Like, I need to get through today. This is part of my identity, yes. and I will. I gotta to warn you, it doesn't stop for a very long time. Yeah, no, <laughs> Please don't never tell me. No, <laughs> no, it's it's a real thing. I think yeah. about age it's twelve. Like, <laughs> you, the next thing you know, you'll be like, yeah. you'll yeah. be, oh my gosh, you're in for so much. I don't mm -hmm. want to ruin it all, but but here's the thing: you'll be looking at them and you'll be like, how did you get so old? And then you'll be looking at yourself going, oh, fuck. That's how I got old, too. <laughs> how how yeah. did I get so yeah. old? Oh, you you guys, little bastards. You did this to me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, lately people have been warning us of the teenage years. And I'm like, 
Can you can just, I just enjoy yeah. one thing at a time? Yeah. Yeah. Is that too much? Got at least a decade. Like, you know? I'm you're sorry, good. you're miserable, but yeah. um, but you're sort you of making my point. You have a decade, but yeah. in the in the between now and when they become that, you still have a boatload of work to do. I know. Like a lot it's of work. But it gets fun. easier and more fun, right? Sure. sure. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Let's see. I have a 13-year-old <laughs> and 16-year-old girls at my house. So yeah, it gets easier. Yeah, sure it does. Or you yeah. get you get more free time. I guess that's that's kind of where I'm going. You're doing a podcast yeah. on Tuesday. Sure, I think coach. we're right now literally all in the same boat. This is how we get out. Yeah. yeah this is it. I just have to tell him this is for daddy's work. This is for daddy's work. <laughs> yeah, you have to. They're like, oh, really? How much are you getting paid, dad? <laughs> well, you know daddy doesn't actually get paid. Yeah, much exactly. Anything. <laughs> not anymore, not any less for this. How's that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. If I did have any money, you guys yeah. spent you took all it of it. <laughs> you already got it. So yeah, it gets better. It's no, fun. it's super. It's, it's super oh, yeah. cool. It's Kids great. are great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we say that. They don't listen. Hey, I promise there would be more lies, right? Uh, yeah. I get. It's like it starts with Santa, like, and you just keep going. Oh God. I give a lot of talks about my book, and people are always like, "What are you doing next?" And I'm like, "Parenting." Parenting forever. So, I'm, yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. Then, then that's a journey it's a on its own, you know? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, okay. So, but you you wrote a book. Yeah. I wrote a book. Yeah. Yes. Are you going to write another book? Uh, probably. Is so that kind of like, is that your like other thing? Are you a book? writer? I am a writer. Yeah. I just finished my PhD like a month before giving birth, which was. Um, wow. Exciting. Congratulations. Trying to get that done. Nice. Well, uh, with the first one or the second one? The second one. So, so I, you, I defended my PhD given... in April. <laughs> you know? yeah. yeah. With a toddler. And, Jesus. Um, but I wrote, much? Yeah. I wrote a lot about my, my expedition down the Mississippi River for my dissertation. So I'm hoping to... Get something from that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll see. What do you I, mean? What does that mean? Oh, write a that. book about, you know, the, like not, about the expedition. Not have that just be something that four people read and right. said, good job. Right. right. And then great. here's your degree. Yeah. Yep. Did you get an A? I got an A plus. Well, then, plus. see, that sounds like a book. <laughs> an A plus. <laughs> plus. Yeah. I, just, I think it just sold itself. It's got an A plus plus rating. This is my pre marketing yeah. strategy. Exactly. There we go. It's Start already slow already and awesome. build up. There you I've go. known people like you. Like they, <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> they've done really you've met well them. in life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like not yeah. knowing them well. Right, 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 right. They usually yeah. get to know me and they're right, like, right. oh, that oh, guy will hey. sap every, yeah. every bit of ambition I had out of it. Hang. It'll be fine. A plus yeah. plus. Uh, like if they're, they're, she's not sure they ever gave a higher grade. Is right. what you're saying. Yeah. Right? I like it. to think very highly of myself in retrospect. Right. Right. I think it's you missed. Good. Uh, I think you missed a plus. <laughs> yeah. They also don't give you a grade for your dissertation <laughs> at all. Oh, that's right, that's kind, of, kind of a leading question. <laughs> But if they did, uh, A plus plus yeah. plus perhaps. Uh, so you write um, and and have written, have written, have written mm-hmm. one book, and you're you've got another one. Mm-hmm. Do you have to do like do you have to do an adventure for the writing to come? Like, does it have to be about something? You know that I think is an interesting bigger question of like, do you have to stay on brand right as an individual throughout your life? And I would say no. No, nah. my editor. John Munson says no. Might say John Munson yes. says no. <laughs> John Munson says no, and he's a talented, yeah. uh, wonderful guy. Yeah, I think they're also talented. Yeah. Sincerity and totally switching up what you're doing. I would write doing. a book about you saxophone. Push back on Just them. Give it to him. Go. Here's what I got. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do? They're like, ooh, we can't sell this with your first you book. You can't be yeah. canoe chick storyteller no, yeah. yeah. writer only for the. You don't no. have to do what they say. No, exactly. So I. Uh, I mean, I. Like, I already don't like this guy. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, they, 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 they're guy. Yeah, come on, let's see. No, you know, I mean, you only got one of your books published. You know, they're just, always worried about how to package things. Right. You know, but I like to write poetry so you're about giving them a like, challenge. Yep. Yeah, yeah. There you go. do your job. Whatever my life is like right. is yeah. what I'm gonna write just, about. Right. Yep. Just don't be um, face down in gutter, gal. Story, you know what I mean? Like that. Don't go from right this to that. I don't that. think we have to worry about that. No, but I mean, if you're writing like, and that's when I hit rock bottom. Like, right. uh, don't like, do what? that one. But write about <laughs> something else. Right. You, you can talented enough, I'm sure, to write something that's yeah, good. Yeah, but you know, I'm, I'm excited to write about the Mississippi River because it is one of those yeah. rivers that like. 
teaches you about the inner workings of America. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. it's just you know paddling. There's a lot going on on that body of water, and right. like Cancer Alley, where you're. Yep. Not you're told not even to touch the water. Like there's yeah. a lot going on there, yeah. you know. Yeah, like, yep. yeah, don't don't even look at it. Just yeah. right. <laughs> float right by. America. I don't know if people know this, and I hope I'm educating our listeners. Um, <laughs> we have a long history of treating our waterways like with, garbage with respect Sewage. and dignity. <laughs> like when the what is the Cuyahoga or whatever yeah. was on fire. Yeah. Yeah. Was you on know, fire. like thanks, yeah. Ohio. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, we, yeah. we've done a great job of making sure that the lifeblood of our country, the, the rivers that run <laughs> through it, that that feed, you know, feed people and, and, and ensure the water, that we we just have lovingly cared for these things, have you we know, not? In certain areas. That's the thing, too, right? Yeah. Like, you have, it's less I than 1% of lives. rivers are protected for wild and scenic, so we're like, yeah. these rivers can be clean. Yeah. And like fuck all this other Everything stuff. Else, we yeah, just we have, have to put stop this shit somewhere. That. So like yeah, totally, yeah. Like there, I, at some point, no matter what political part of the thing you're in or whatever, whatever you do, at some point you have to realize that just completely fucking things up isn't sustainable. It's just not. I don't know. I think sustainable. Uh, <laughs> they've been trying. It seems they sure pretty sustained up until this point. <laughs> well, it's you know, water quality has been. I'm sorry. I'm just, yes. Yeah. You know, uh, water quality has been improving because yes. we no longer just like dump sewage right, right into our. We've rivers. gotten incrementally Imagine. better. Yes. Right. Incrementally. Yeah. Incrementally. Ooh, this could kill people. Nah, let's do it a different way. Yeah, or like, or let's do it and hide it. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. was the old way. That was the old way. Yeah, and I mean, let's let yeah. corporations have just carte blanche and do whatever they want to do. Like that is not cool. They've either. never fucked up. They've never done it the wrong way. <laughs> right. It's so um, accessible um, to ask for. <laughs> yeah, I don't that's know. That's what's yeah. cool about paddling urban rivers, though. It's like all this shit is hidden from the public eye on purpose, and here you are paddling. Like I paddled yeah. the Chicago Sanitary Canal, and I'm like, wow. That sounds Damn, terrible. Damn, mercy. Was, yeah. awful. That sounds horrible. <laughs> right, like, <laughs> I mean, but it's you an open see sewer all pipe. that stuff. Yeah. That and sounds like I went to Moose Lake and is. paddled the wastewater treatment pond for, <laughs> yeah. for two hours. Had a great oh, yeah. Just to yeah. think yeah. about my impact on the world. Right. <laughs> you don't even have to get out of the boat. Hey, look, there's ducks on it. <laughs> yeah. oh, can't be that bad. Oh, yeah, it makes me want to cry. <laughs> yeah. Well, that took a weird turn. Yeah. Yeah. Needed the second to be said. Half. Yeah. So, but you can write about other stuff. Can you, yeah. can you, I like, I've always wondered what, because you don't, uh, oh, this is bad, but like, like the, oh, I'm waiting you're for not supposed <laughs> if your preface is like, oh God, here we go. This Brace is going yourself. to be bad. <laughs> well, I, I like, think we just had more people tune in. There's, cer- <laughs> uh, there's certain things you're not supposed to do if you want to like earn a living. Right. And one of them yeah, is like, like coming on this like, podcast. Like is that what artists, you're yeah, yeah, podcasting. Yeah, okay. No, yeah. that's not one of them. Yeah. Uh, but you know, artists and then the like writing is like pretty low on the on the rung there. That's yeah. pretty far down on yeah, the ladder. That's not how I make my money. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. But I but I think that given given the way the world is headed, I the idea of of artificial intelligence being able to write stories, it's fucking stupid to me yeah mm-hmm. i don't want to read those stories no i i love that it can take if i say hey i need to uh you know create a business plan for this or whatever that it can give sure give you this guideline yeah. it's great sure thank technical you technical is one thing but storytelling comes from a person's soul it's gotta be i don't want to hear yeah. it from ai like fuck off yeah i really think it's a problem like it's a problem thank you I got a passionate yeah, supporter. I know. Well, because it was actually in the news that there are writers who have signed a petition and approached Meta and Chat GPT and said, You have not asked for permission. You have not paid us. Oh, you've been stealing and you my shit. You are stealing our our words. Yeah. Why is that okay? It's not. Yeah. It's not. The whole thing just seems like like completely and utterly wrong. I I'm not actually that worried about it. I I don't think that that's we'll what they stand want for it. Well, yeah, that's probably that's, they don't want you to worry. Uh, yeah, like, that's oh, no, I mean, here's I, the ways in which it's handy and dandy. <laughs> and like, no, but you are going to, it. 
like you have to put some parameters in place ah, right now parameters to keep mm-hmm. from fucking people over mm-hmm. who are making their living that way humans aren't good at putting parameters on well, things i will give you this um, our current politicians are not, not good, good at, at parameters you, you, because like oh but what about my back it. pocket cash mm-hmm. oh, yeah what about but humans me? but humans have never been good at it uh, at new stopping things, acceleration that's yeah. right and, yeah. and at realizing even they maybe there will always be those who point out the problem as it's occurring mm-hmm. and who are like, uh, you guys, this is going to cause we're like, we're going to get into a big fucking accident here. Yeah. Don't do that. And the other ones are like, that's nah, fine. Nah. We're driving this, the, the big American bus and it's going to be great. But um, I mean, I, I do think I've been reading a bunch of stuff about like like not being so fearful of A.I. It's not it's not going to ruin you think it was written by a person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's why you have Mark Probably, maybe not right. he's so persuasive <laughs> no maybe not it's there's good. nothing to fear just the, let us handle it my take on it is I am actually not terribly concerned about the AI existing I'm concerned about what humans Use will do for. with the well, AI it's the human go. part of it right Absolutely. so I would demand like I would even though I don't read often enough to consider myself a prolific reader, I just don't. I have kids, you'll you'll find you lose yeah. time. I you do read, lost but time. you can only read Doctor Seuss so many times. <laughs> yes. That's oh, right. Oh, right. That's right. right. Yep. Oh, you won't shut up. We'll oh, read it again. I started God. hiding books. Oh yeah, <laughs> the ones you don't want to read. Yeah. Yep. I fell asleep three seconds into that one, kid. Sorry. Yep. Sorry. No, but but I don't want to be reading things that were AI generated ever. Like, mm. eh, not even news articles and stuff, really. You know, I want to hear what other humans are thinking about. If there's things. not Oof. thought behind it, something's broken there. Yeah, that's very. Well, yeah, weird. it's missing. I want human connection. I don't want AI. I don't want yeah. that. I mean, it has a place and it can be useful. And I think there's a lot sure of it's applications a very powerful for, tool for it. a lot of great things. With that said, it needs to be in the right spot, not in the wrong spot. Yeah, I think there needs to be a reflection in the writing about. The things that we can't see, right? Like, so if you're at a city council meeting, which is AI, you know, they'll they'll sum it up for you and they'll write yeah. the article like these are the things that we're talking yeah. about. But if you can't reflect on how like pissed everyone at that meeting was, right. or like the anxiety that yes. someone had yeah. because they were gonna lose their home, you know, right. like there's right. just so much of it the human the aspect, context. losing the human yeah. connection, yeah. and we get comfortable with that. It opens the path to, I think, a place that no one wants to go. Right. Mm -hmm. It's just very, it's fact without emotion. And that is. I mean, AI thinks that the plate of food that I took a picture of six years ago is like a a prized picture of mine. (laughs) You know, (laughs) like, you love this picture, right? Like, no, I fucking, I'm sorry I didn't delete that. I should have. You're right. I never should have sent my mother a plate, a picture of a plate of food. That was dumb of me. Because now it's going to haunt me for the rest of my life. Like that's some super valuable asset yeah. that I created Every that year, day. I noticed you wanted you. to be a chef. Like, no, I don't. I'm just. Yeah. I require food to yeah. stay alive. Yeah. yeah, I. The machines don't scare me so much as the what the humans do with them. But you're right. That's the social the side of things. Yeah. This is like and an embodied machines, experience that yeah. I would. Missing. I mean, I want to read what the reporter has to say or not. You know, I do read a lot of articles. I read a lot of news, but not a lot of books anymore. It's just too many kids. But, um, too but anyway, many kids. you should write more books. <laughs> so it sounds like the next saxophone book. Yeah, yeah, we'll read it. I'll listen to read your it. podcast. You read my books. Shit. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll make exchange. a different. I think it's a fair exchange. I'll make a different agreement with you. If you write more books, I'll be sure to promote those books, and I'll give it my best effort. I will give it my best effort to read books. I seriously fall asleep in like 13 seconds. I know. Seconds. I'm actually with you. <laughs> like, I, I had to read so much in graduate school that I'm like, I'm on a hiatus. Yeah, like I'm done. Yeah. 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 Like, I'm like, taking a break. Yep. Unless it's some sort of fantastical romance fiction, you know. Well, that sounds then, like fun. Right. Yeah. yeah it's got to take me somewhere else. Yeah. Which, you know, good literature does. Yeah. I mean, that's... I, to be honest... And I did not read your book before That's this show. Okay. Yeah, no, it's it's. But we don't do that. That yes. is a, yes. that is purposeful on our part. I didn't know you were going to be here, but I do want to read your book now. <laughs> that, now yes. that we've talked, yes. that will get read by me. Yes. It is un, it is unlikely that I won't because yeah. I we had John Lurie on who also read a, a, a retelling of the canoeing with the Cree. Yep. 
mm-hmm. canoeing with Jose, read mm-hmm. that right away afterward. Yeah. Because like I'm I'm in your world. Right. Mm-hmm. So it is unlikely that I won't read your book. I hope you brought me one. Well, I Because I don't pay for here's... literature. They, they, what do oh they think God. they need money? Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm just wow. kidding. I, I always buy it. I yeah. always buy them when I, when there's a book that I want, I yep. buy it and I make sure that it I try and buy it from places that yep. make sure that you get paid. I really do it. But cool. I, I actually had important. to buy my own book from REI a couple weeks ago because I realized <laughs> oh. I didn't have any more. Didn't have any more. Oh, wow. I totally would have brought you some. No, no uh, I I think it's best that people like like whatever it is thirteen ninety nine or something yeah. at REI yeah. like it's, go get if, it if you want artists to be supported you go buy their you go book buy their yeah. stuff. yes so, that's why you always buy an album at a show it goes right to the artist yeah this is true hey, there you go that was a good pro tip right there mm-hmm. it was yeah. at the show yeah. always yeah. at the at show, the show. It goes always directly the show. man goes I did not know that and I've mm-hmm. been to a lot of shows here to so. help okay that's what I do <laughs> that was I taught my kids they're like I want that album cool wait for the show. Okay. Oh, I All like right. that a lot. Yeah. 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 One, there's Do one you to sell your on. books directly? <laughs> yeah, so I give a lot of talks, and I sell books there. Do, I mean, do you ever have like a do you have a website where a yeah. person could buy your book, mm-hmm. too? I'm going to do that instead, because okay. REI is going to take a cut otherwise, right? We could also mention where that more is, profit. so yeah, anyone I'm like, listening uh, could I don't go know why we're holding out. I was there. <laughs> okay, Jesus. Like, hey, guys, your to, to, yeah, I want long the information. Way to get there. Well, okay, so let me make a plug for the audio book, because... Do you read it? I read it. Nice. We recorded it in our basement because I'm yeah, yeah, married yeah, yeah. to Reco- okay, a there recording yeah, yeah, yeah. artist. And uh, so my husband really hates mouth sounds. And so I all day for like two straight weeks, I'm just like up on a microphone yeah, talking and just... reading this book. And his job was to go through and edit out my oh, mouth Jesus. sounds. And I oh. think we almost got divorced. Yeah. <laughs> that just could like... do it. I'm, you know what? I might be He's with like, him I on that. I might kill you in your sleep yeah. tonight, but I need a mother oh. for my children. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's like things were rough. So I, I highly recommend listening to that and appreciating... Cool. The so the audio version, yeah, yep. yep. which you read, nice. yes, and I presume you make some profit off of that if we buy the audio I version. I do. Too. I should have brought my contract so that I could tell you exactly what to do. Nice. Um, but I think just getting it through the University of Minnesota Press is oh, the best okay. Okay. thing nice. for the buck for me. That's nice. easy enough. Yeah. Good. There you go. So University of Minnesota Press. Mm-hmm. The name of the book is Hudson Bay Bound: Two Women, One Dog, Two Thousand Miles to the Arctic. And no saxophone. No saxophone. That was a t- That's not part of the title. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's In not a subtitle. Good to check. Yeah. No Next saxophones. Uh, did you, do you, have you ever brought an instrument on one of these things? We had, you know, travel guitars and ukuleles and stuff that we would play, but I would never bring one of my saxophones in a case. Yeah, that, that sounds like, like a terrible idea. idea. Yeah, that's not, yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> yeah, that it. sounds terrible. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, we uh, we always only ever sang. Like occasionally, someone yeah. would bring a guitar, and I was always like, "We're not that. We're not <laughs> hippies." You also can't play guitar while you're paddling. Yeah, exactly. There it's is... like weird because you use it as a paddle accidentally. It's not good. Yeah, yeah, put some strings on a canoe yeah. paddle. There That'd be go. interesting. <laughs> Kate gets me. Um... <laughs> I mean, there is a stereotype of the campfire yeah. guitar yeah. player. There's I also dislike mm-hmm. this person. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I was always like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" Steve. Never, never pop it out. No. Never. Oh, as soon no. as he falls asleep, Who I'm going to cut those him. strings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but we did have a running, uh, a running thing about like if if you could, if you're on a maybe not a two thousand mile fifty day trip or whatever you went on, but if you're on a long trip like that, what? artist musician artist that is mm. would you put in the middle of your canoe who is going to do absolutely Ooh. no work with a paddle and just play a guitar and sing for you all day because we always tried to sing but we'd get like a quarter of the way into you know even the classics yeah. and everyone's like damn no it what's clue. the next line yeah yep. like oh shit so <laughs> so the, it was always who would you put in there yeah hmm. you got any oh, off man. the cuff sort of answer someone light <laughs> or heavy if you got a weight, good weight, you need to weigh it down but enough. weight yeah. was not a consideration I hear you maybe it should be whether they can get in or out and right. all of that yeah, okay. it was just like who's yeah. musical I, I have my answer okay let's hear it Taylor Swift 
<laughs> right, you could choose anyone. I'm like James Taylor. Maybe she didn't, folk maybe she didn't understand the question. You could choose anyone. Yeah. No. Uh, okay. gonna, nope. Fair you need something positive to keep motivation oh, going and paddling and paddling. See, and you're thinking and like, about oh, like the right. branding of your trip too. Because well, I'm thinking yeah. about oh, like how mentally sure. fucked yeah. I would oh, be, yeah. and I would yeah. just need a little yeah. happy tune yeah. to bring me right back. Oh yeah. Yeah, she might be good for that. Yeah. Yeah, Damn. my my go tos were were always like the uh, Elton John. Uh, uh, oh, I don't think the piano would fit. Yeah, no, yeah. he he fucking knows every song yeah, there yeah, ever yeah. was. He would be a good band yeah, leader. Go. Yeah, yeah, uh, or a Hooter. A Hooter? Yeah, like Hootie and the Blowfish. No, the that's that's oh. why they call the Hooter. That's the little thing you blow into its piano. It's called a Hooter. Oh, well, yeah, he could bring that. I don't care. <laughs> Trying to help. He knows everything. Stay with me. <laughs> Seeger. Uh, yeah, Billy like Joel. Like, yeah. just, just uh, someone who knows every fucking yeah. song and would be like, oh, I actually know 6,000 songs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, like, just tell me where to start yeah, and I'll just keep going. you want. Yeah. <laughs> That was always, I was just, it was always like, who who has the most songs buried in their head yeah. somewhere? Yeah. Do they have we, to be alive? No, go ahead. Good okay, question. Bob Marley. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, good call. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I'd do like a Ella Fitzgerald in the canoe. Oh, yeah. oh, man. You yeah. guys are getting like, ugh, so sophisticated. <laughs> <laughs> Would you want like tea pain? Yeah. <laughs> You'd need a lot of technology oh, in there. Sure, mix a lot because Lil Wayne. I need that. Who was from Miami that you said early in the show? Pitbull. Pitbull. Yeah. Yeah, like, there like, we like, go. Pitbull. Pitbull. You got anything else? <laughs> he goes, no fireball again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hit it. <laughs> no, no, no. I would love like, to hear that acoustic it. too. <laughs> Pitbull, you only got six fucking songs. <laughs> got to be I another one. I need more. Uh, mm. That yeah. would drive me nuts. I feel like I just rediscovered Billy Joel because for you know for I. I sort of thought he was a joke for a while. And then I started listening to the Stranger album during quarantine. Ooh. And I just. Yep. Yeah. Good one. It started oh, he's got as some a joke and it's real. Yeah. Yeah. Good, you know, good writing yeah. by a human. Some yeah. saxophone in there, too. Yes. I like a little bit so of that. Yep. Uh, yep. One of my musical friends here in town turned me on to like. I had no idea the Bee Gees had music before they were. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. My boyfriend right now is obsessed yeah. with the Bee Gees. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. old stuff, yep. like in like for the disco, I'm like, yeah. holy oh, yeah. shit, you guys were great. <laughs> super pop yep. group. Yeah, yep. they were super British pop group. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was great. They were sure. Australian, babe. Oh, well, yeah, that, that, whatever. They had an accent. That's all I know. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> They're from over there. This yeah. is further evidence that I don't know anything. <laughs> You're cultured and shit. <laughs> I just talk. That was so uh, sophisticated. Uh, super sophisticated. <laughs> cultured. Uh, what yeah. else you got for us before we boot you out of here? Um, I have a lot of animal costumes. <gasps> what? And, and we bring this oh, up. And he's like, <laughs> yeah. it was 67 minutes into the show, you bring up animals. There's a lot of follow up questions Such there. As, but not limited to. <laughs> like you're in a, a Halloween? lifestyle thing? No. It's Are not you a Halloween. furry? I'm not Are you a tell- furry. Well, I know, that's why I was like, so I don't at know. At our wedding, we there. had the full furry parade playing on a projector, which, <gasps> okay. if you've wow. never seen a full furry parade, it's, it's fascinating. Okay. Um, but no, my brother got me a dog costume when I was in college. For my birthday, just randomly. As, as one will. You know. Right? Yeah. 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 And That's I started, a good brother mm-hmm. gift. It's, yeah. yeah, it's a good brother gift. I started wearing it to parties, and then I like got this identity as, like, is the dog coming? And then I would lend it out so people would think I was at those parties, oh, even nice. if I was just, yeah. like, watching a movie in my dorm room. Oh, does it have, like, a face so you can't see who's oh, in yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. Does that wow. afford you some sort of anima- anima- yeah. <laughs> animosity? Animosity? <laughs> yeah. Animity? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I like about it. You can do, and I've played a lot of saxophone in my dog costume, and nice. that was just, wow. Do so you like that's the cut a hole in the face and jam the. No, you can. <laughs> it that works. doesn't make it, any it sense. It was college. Yeah, I was I'm like... guessing she can still drink a, right. drink a drink and, uh, you know, yeah. uh, play a saxophone. There you go. But yeah, no, I've slowly. Now it's like, well, what animal costume should we get you? And so I've got like five or six in our basement, okay. of which my toddler is terrified of all of them. So oh. they've ah, been collecting are cute that way. dust. 
for a bit. Oh, no, you out. know what? That'll wear off. Like, yeah. in a couple of years, they will probably really enjoy them. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be like the gorilla at their like, birthday party. You got some Halloweens, right. like, all it's coming together set. in yeah, your future. Yeah, you got kids now. Yeah. Halloween's big deal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. But is it just sort of an enjoyable thing to put this on and become something else? Like, yeah. is, it, is that the deal behind it? Yeah. I used to, when I lived in D.C., I would just, like, put on my dog costume and play saxophone at the subway station because right. it was just wow. so nice to have no one know who the fuck you yeah. were. Yeah. And if you're wearing that, no one's coming up to go, hi, how are you? I'm trying to introduce yeah. yourself. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. It's like, There's don't a, talk okay, to me, and also, it. this is right. how yeah. much free time I, I have. It. Plus, right. I'm playing the saxophone right <laughs> yeah, now, right. so I don't have time to talk. <laughs> Not a lot of chatting. <laughs> right. Plus, like, I, I have... I read a lot of news. I have yet to read a story about the dog girl playing saxophone at the but subway you would getting know it's stabbed a girl. or anything. Well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, girl, boy, it doesn't matter. Stabbed. I mean, you're, you're, you're not. That's a pretty safe. She's like, you well, be... actually, I did get stabbed one time. Like, All right, Funny take story. that. <laughs> just in the fluff, though. It, it didn't. It just only did the fluff. <laughs> right. Had to get a new costume. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it, like, uh, like if. If you can't somewhat be charmingly disarmed by a person in a dog costume playing saxophone in a public place, there's something fucking wrong yeah, with you. Like it people makes don't people smile. Yeah, people right. probably yeah. don't do as many bad things in that right. setting. They're like, damn it. <laughs> I was going to rob these people, but, but look at that guy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> look, oh, excuse me. Look at that person. A dog. Dog playing a saxophone. Yeah. Fuck it. I can't do anything bad yeah, around right. a dog playing a saxophone. Yeah, I really like dogs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn it. They all left. I was going to rob them. Yeah. No, you can't do that. Yeah. I yeah. was paid, sponsored by the police, actually. Yeah. So, like, McGruff. She like lies cousin. like you right. lie, Mark. Yeah. Okay. yeah, exactly. She, she hears something and says, yeah, yeah that's, that's this is the reality. Happened. That's what happened. Even though it's not, it works. That's straight up lying. <laughs> Altered truth. <laughs> no dog playing a saxophone Maybe. has ever been endorsed by the police. Don't try and find for, I'm just for the kids. For the kids if you're listening to this uh, and you're thinking not what yet. about McGruff's yeah. cousin? Not yet. Jazzy. That's what I said. <laughs> McGruff. McGruff's yeah. cousin Jazzy. Maybe. He's trying to appeal to the kids. Uh, shit, I don't know what happened in the 70s. There probably was some of that shit going on. Oh, but, for sure. But... It's a tough. It's a instead of the trench coat, it had a glittery blazer. There it is. This is not likely your future career, is what I'm saying. Right. So if you're listening to this, as if, if some of our youths who listen, because we have a lot of those. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. If you're thinking, I think I just figured out what I want to do with my Take life. That box think off. twice. Don't check it. It's probably yeah. not there. Great hobby, though. Anyway, ten out of good 10. hobby. Uh, anything else? Yeah, I mean, you uh, threw no, that I'll, one at I'll us. stop. Jeez, Louise. I feel like if you didn't, no. you'd, you <laughs> could take us somewhere. I know. I was like, uh, wow. Even further. <laughs> We're She's just, thinking we're, about it. We're She's just like, scratching the surface here, so I think. So you're saying there's a second yes. show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that the She's dog's out of the bag. counting them on her fingers. <laughs> yeah, like, no, nope, not that one. <laughs> Still want to get another book out. So I write books and I canoe. Yep. Thank you. That's Have it. a good night. Yep. That was it. <laughs> that was now Natalie Warren, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Natalie. Um, yeah, anyway, Natalie, that, yeah. I think that's it. I think cool. we got to yeah. end this. Yeah. We're done. This is ridiculousness. I love it. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you for uh, awesome. Let's go over it one more time really quick. Uh, Minneapolis, no, it's uh, University of Minnesota Press. Yeah, find my your book. book there. Yes. Is that what we're talking about? Yes. Um, find your book yep. there. Both Hudson that Bay and the audio book. And the audio book. All, you know, but also like anywhere on the internet. So right. Okay. That's helpful. That's Intro everybody web. knows that these yeah. days. Right. Uh, any, anything else quick? Want to plug? You got nope. your, your friend? Nope. You're good? Good. good. Okay. Yep. Cool. Sounds good. Thanks. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Well, you did it. You made it to the end of another show. Um, thank you all so much for listening to our show. We really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to send us your questions, comments, or even your guest requests. Maybe you want to be a guest. Maybe you know someone who would be a great guest. Send them in to info at LegacyMattersPodcast.com. All right. See you next time.
theme music and all the other music that you've heard on this show is uh, created by and recorded by the fabulous Captain Al. Check him out.